Hello everyone, as promised earlier, I'm gonna give you 6 more Final Cut Pro 10's plugins and this time it's effects plugins and these effects plugins are used for cinematic effects. I'm gonna show you how to install and how to use them. First of all, where do you find them? It's under the description column and you can just go to the Google Drive and download and unzip the pack. After you have already unzipped the pack, just go to Go and Home and then after that you can go to movies and motion templates effects and just put LC movie over here and yep that's all you need to do restart your Final Cut Pro and go to the effects column and look for LC movies it's going to be here right here yep six of them next up I'm gonna show you how to actually apply them it's very simple as well you just drag them for example CinemaScope and put it on your clip that's all you need to do. However, for me, I'm going to use them differently. I'm gonna drag an adjustment layer and I'm gonna crop this adjustment layer. And for example, just now was the cinema scope effect. I'm just gonna drag this effect and put it on the adjustment layer. This actually helps me to edit better because you can always just unuse this adjustment layer and you know, uh, all the effects will be gone and the original clip will be showing and it's easier to delete them as well you Just you know delete this adjustment layer and that's all you need to do So for example for CinemaScope there is some you know adjustments you can do For example you can click to subscribe yeah <laughs> just a small reminder And you know you can't bring down the opacity for no building and build up so you, if you don't really need the build-in and build-out effect for Cinescope, you can just put it 100%. If not, you can drag it to 0% and this automatically you know, creates a build-in and build-out effect. You might be wondering what is La La Land. It's actually just a cloud effect plus a shaky effect. So I'm just going to drag this over to the clip itself and once I hit play, you know, this is like you know you're ascending to heaven or something so it's like shaking 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 and bang it's all quiet and everything is good however this effect is best used with a little bit of pan or cam burns so what i use is just go to cam burns and switch the boxes something like that and click done and once I hit play, you know, this creates a small dynamic to this entire clip. Yep. So next up is flare and glare. As you can see that with uh, high intensity and exposure, this is going to be too much. So first of all, I'm going to bring down the exposure to, uh, uh, to an acceptable value and then I always increase the softness but if you are satisfied with this effect it's okay if you don't really want to increase the softness but for me to create a more Japanese kind of a look yep this is the way to go to increase the softness and this is like a Japanese drama series or entertainment show kind of effect and you can increase the intensity or decrease the intensity so yep and you can decrease the mix as well and you can change the angle if you change the angle it's going to create a little bit different flare and yep actually depends on how you want to use them and how the lights are you know, shining or reflecting away from the surface and you can change the size as well the size of the entire glare or flare effect so if you want to create a flaring kind of effect can always create a keyframe exposure bring it down and maybe at this moment just make mix it out to three and bring down again to to zero so this will create a small little flare effect and this is a bad example but I hope you guys you know get what I'm just trying to say and Next step will be the spin zoom effect. I'm gonna use the adjustment layer to explain it a little bit better. So this spin zoom effect, as you know, is you know zooming out. So this default is like this. 
and if you are unsatisfied with the speed of this dominion you can always you know, resize the entire adjustment layer to shorten it or lengthen it so the speed of entire spinning and zooming effect will be you know, up to your adjustment layer the length of adjustment layer and if you don't really like this effect and you want it to be zooming in I'm gonna do a few setups I'm gonna you know reverse the clip below and then create a compound clip like this and then reverse the clip again so this is you no know, zooming in and spinning as well so it's doable but so this is just to apologize to all of you because I don't really have the time to create another effect to you know zoom in but I think zoom out is you know sufficient for my everyday editing but if you really 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 need this you can either wait for my updates or you can just you know use my method to create two reverse clips so this automatically creates a zoom in the kind of a spinning motion as you can see that there's a the original clip is kind of a creepy you know, with this dude you know flickering with light but I'm gonna make it make the creepiness to the next level I'm gonna bring the adjustment layer over here and lengthen it to cover the entire duration and then I'm gonna drag this flickering effect and I'm gonna apply it over here and once you apply you see that it's shaking but you know it's like a small lag because there are some shadows trailing I can turn off this effect so this is pure flickering effect and if you are unsatisfied with this uh, speed of flickering you can always generate uh, this effect randomly something like that yep or you can just reset it to the original setting that I'm using right now or you can change it to another number that you really like for example 99999 that's all I'm gonna show you for this flickering effect and finally uh, last but not least is the uh, motion blur effect because you know motion blur is kind of useful effect but I didn't do a lot of setups for this motion blur effect so it's pretty uh, you know you need to change everything over here but yeah just have fun and adjust and find what's your desired value and mix and if you don't really know how to use them how to use motion blur you can always check out the various youtube channels that actually teach you guys how to do motion blur effects or maybe wait for my updates in the next video and i'm gonna show you guys how to do this motion blur effect and this marks the end of today's sharing of my uh, self-made plugins and hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe and like my video that's all bye bye